on Girl Talk. We're at Island Tire. John is here. Barry is here. Thank you very much. And we're talking about being safe and road trips. We've been talking about rental cars and things you can do. But it's really important in planning a road trip, especially if you're traveling by car, to make sure that your car is in tip-top shape. Right? Exactly, yeah. You all, yeah. You talk to us a little bit about that, if you will. Well, one of the things John and I were talking about, you know, we have been on Hilton and we see an awful lot of folks that are down here on vacation and some of the issues that we see with cars, you know, it's a shame people are on vacation and they have a problem. Mm -hmm. And probably yeah. nine times out of ten, it was totally preventable. Exactly. Okay. Well, one of the things that you said first is service your car yeah. mm -hmm. before you go. Before you go. Right. And now I have a lot of customers here who have their car checked before they go on trips. Okay. John, I'm going on a trip today. I'm going up here. I got 800 miles to travel one way. Will my car okay. make it? Yeah. Will, it mm -hmm. will it get me there? What do I need to take mm -hmm. care of? Because exactly there's I mean. nothing worse than getting stuck on the side of the road on your trip, on your Horrible. vacation. You've got Kids all in that the car. stuff. But yeah. Mm -hmm. Got all the stuff. Yeah. yeah, tires, batteries, and stuff. We're in a hot climate down here. So cars from the north that aren't used to that, True. Oh, they come down here. Mm -hmm. And next thing you know, they're not used to that 80, 100 degree yeah, temperature down in the summer. Air conditioning yeah. start, stops Batteries, working. Tires. Tires once. Mm -hmm. Yep, tires expand and then pop. And the next thing you know, the, the tires were just too old. They should have been replaced over. before. And the other thing is plan your trip, the actual destination part of it. Sure. Sure, and look at where you're going. Um, this is such a mom thing. <laughs> Oh my okay, there we go. <laughs> I'm just sorry. Right. Up, planning our trip. I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, planning a trip. I'm blushing for you. I know. Worry. Exactly. Oh, well. All right, planning yeah. your trip. All right. Destination route. You know, that's part of it. That really doesn't play. I mean, if the vehicle is in good shape, you should be able to go anywhere in the continental United States unless you're planning on going on an extended camping trip somewhere. You may not want to take, you know, well, the PT Cruiser on off-road. Yeah, right. the mountains. I've got a few customers who go to the mountains, especially in the wintertime, go skiing. Okay. From down here, I want to go up to the mountains, yeah. go skiing. Will my tires make it? Because right. the difference between here and snow is down here, you know, you're not going to hit snow. Right. You don't have to worry about that. But up in the mountains, right. you know, 230 seconds, 330 seconds of tread depth is not going to get you any grip in the snow up there. Yeah. Breaks, yeah. same yeah. thing. Right. Stopping when you're going on stuff. And you've got kids, I've got kids, you've got kids. I've got seven grandkids now, so it's one big giant car seat fest. <laughs> that always scares me going distances. What are your thoughts about that? Well, I mean, obviously, if you've got kids that are of an age that they need to be in a car seat, mm -hmm. you want to make sure um, that it's installed correctly, that you know how to take it in and out of the car. Mm -hmm. um, that really is, is more responsive of a parent. parent. We don't yeah. get involved right. with right. trying to... I mean, if somebody asks us, we can certainly look at the directions, but... Mm -hmm. Yeah, John, you said you yeah. do some safety checks. Yeah, and safety yeah. checks and stuff for mm -hmm. customers. I mean, the fire department, speaking of car seats, the fire department police station, you stop by any one of those Good. local, they'll, they'll help you with that. That's mm -hmm. pretty cool. They, they, yeah. They'll stop and help sure. you with that. That's not a problem, but... Yeah, and I think people are traveling by car a lot more now. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. sure. I think it's, it's just easier, more economical. Families of three or more, mm -hmm. I mean, you yeah. can't afford to fly. And it sounds so simple to say, well, just check it before you go, but you know how you get in that fury, so you almost need to write it on the calendar right when you're yeah. planning, just say, okay, and don't plan on, I'm leaving in 15 minutes yeah. because if something is John, wrong with your car, exactly. yeah. i got to have time to fix it. I right. don't want to de yeah. detain you from going on vacation right. and enjoying yourself a week or two ahead of time. I mean, you don't have to do it or, or, the morning or you, enough. Or you get the car that's completely packed. Right, yeah. you can't yeah. see out the back. Yeah. Yeah. And, 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 and the, the first thing we have like to do is, well, or if you've got to get uh, like a spare yeah. out of the back, say, okay, we're going to mm -hmm. have changes, we'll put bulbs, the spare on it. Tail light bulbs, stuff like that where we have to tear apart the inside. Yeah, and you have to panels. unpack the cars. I mean, oh. We literally have piles of yeah. baggage, beach chairs. Crying babies. I have two, I have oh, yeah. two comments. The yes. one thing, this is my mantra when I get in the car now. It's WWBD. What would Barry do? What would Barry <laughs> because, do? Because, <laughs> let me tell you why, though. She because. just doesn't want to do the WWJ. Exactly. Yeah. No, it's because. Goes, it's, no, it's because. It's because that little, silly little um, owner's manual book it, it works. We it? had a whole show on it. No, it yeah. really works. Yeah. And one of the things before we left on vacation the other day, I was I made sure I had it mm -hmm. just in case I had to go to a generic place. Oh, it on makes the road. me so mad when something happens. I'm like, I know the book is right there. All you have to do is get it out, Lori. And mm -hmm. it's like, oh, exactly. and it, it, it works. Oh, so. dude, I've yeah. got mine organized but, but that's, now. That's like a whole other reason why using, uh, well, like Island Tire. Yeah. We're part of the American Car Care Network. So we are affiliated with 30,000 shops across the United States. So any work that's done here is warranted. Mm -hmm. If mm -hmm. you've got a question or you have an issue, you know that you can go to one of those shops. Um, if they need any history, literally they will call up and say, hey, I've got one of your customers' cars. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. They're in here. Yeah. And they said they had some issues. We go, 
Let me pull up their history. I'll send it to you. That's great. Yeah, because we all work yeah. together when it comes to this stuff. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. I've got customers have called from, you know, it's hey, really this is my guy from back home. Can you talk yeah. to him real quick? Yeah. yeah. Sure. Yeah, not a problem. It's like medicine, you yeah. know? Exactly. Like doctors yeah, exactly. I mean, your yeah. car, I mean, your car, really, so you think about it, that's how I explain a lot of things in, in layman's terms is things don't last forever. We right. break down. I mean, how many times do you have to take medicine? Exactly. Well, your car has to as well. Exactly. Speaking of that, my biggest fear in a car are my tires. Mm -hmm. Is yeah, there anything always, I can do yeah. to look at, prevent? Like, can I bring go my... see John. Yeah. You can come see us. You ought to keep one of these in your car it's a tire pressure gauge okay mm -hmm. we can show you how to use one mm -hmm. yep. do you know how to use one Debbie I'm an expert on this <laughs> you don't do no. you? <laughs> 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 all right that's our next show we, we have to do a lesson yeah, sure. on something <laughs> we really do let's do a lesson on but yeah. is that what we look for tire yeah, pressure? tire I mean I can pick out things are wrong with your car okay. just like it you know they always you hear the commercial about dentists can pick out that you have a disease because of the way mm -hmm. your mouth well your tires will tell you a lot about what's going on with your car absolutely right. you oh, know yeah. looking at alignment them with alignment issues you've got wearing issues you've got things that aren't sitting right what's going on because tires tires are the first thing you're gonna see but most people aren't, most people aren't gonna climb underneath the car to look at the tire right. and the car nowadays sits so low they're so low profile mm -hmm. That it, I'm not going to, you know, you're not going to crawl underneath your clothes or you're getting ready to go on vacation, look yeah. at your tires, bring them in. I really I mean, do want to do this in my pockets to be hard enough. Right? We'll, That's we'll right. <laughs> Keep them in the glove box. Okay. With the, yeah. with the order of exactly. Mariel all together. Exactly. Put it in my purse and use it as a mirror. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> the reason I think it's so important is a lot of times my little sensor will come on and it seems like when I'm going from hot to cold or cold to hot, my tires yeah. will, and I don't know. So I think it might be actually fun to do that. As always, we're out of time, just when the juicy good stuff gets rolling. Right. So we're going to talk amongst ourselves here. Okay. But we want to say we're glad that you all joined us here today on Girl Talk. Have a great week. Bye-bye.